Hello, welcome to Ellie Bee Toys and welcome back for another episode of Modern Day Princess Apartments. Today we are going to finish Belle's apartment. This has been <laughs> a custom build that I've loved doing and I've packed so many details into this. It's taken me a long time to get it just the way I like it, but it is just the way I like it. So here's the downstairs section with the little bathtub under the stairs where she can actually read in the bathtub. She's got the kitchen and she's got a little bookcase under the stairs well next to the stairs and on the second level she's got her bedroom which is really really cozy if you haven't seen the build of these make sure you check them out but today we're going to add some support here and we need to add the lounge room and a nice big bookcase as well well lots of bookcase library things but before we even add support i want to do something else <laughs> i want to add something a little bit different and special because Belle loves reading so much I wanted to make her a special place, <laughs> like she doesn't already have a lot of places to read, but a special place to read and relax. She's actually going to get a two story high sunroom. So we are going to need windows to go all the way up, two stories tall. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a good idea? We've got some of these little outside bits have got uh, outward facing studs and I have a reason for that but let's get some of these windows together and we're going to check the height and make sure everything in here is how we want it to be actually before we before we put the next set of sex set of windows on let's put some cushioning and some mattresses some like big nice comfy floor cushions down here on the floor too and they have to be nice bright yellow and we're going to add some extra details in here too but first up let's put floor cushions down the whole thing is just going to be floor cushion and cushions on the end for her to be able to lean on. So on either end. So she could actually have a friend join her down here in the sunroom for reading. But this little part here is for some books. And I think I want to fit another book in here. So let's just move it along one more and we'll put a little tile in there. And that way we can fit one more book in there because you can never have too many books. We need lots of books in there. And that way they look nice and tidy. Over here on this stud... You know what you need when you're reading? You need cookies. So she's going to have a little barrel of cookies, a cookie jar. That's kind of an upside down cookie jar. <laughs> but the cookie jar actually never makes its way back to the kitchen. This is her cookie assortment, her deluxe cookie assortment. It's got all different types of cookies in here. And it lives in here in the sunroom, in the reading sunroom. This is like my dream place to come and read. Belle's going to check it out. She's got a cozy little corner to tuck in here. Or she could sit on the other end if she wants to. There's a little bit more room on the other end. Or she could definitely share this space with a friend. They could sit here and chat. Or they could just sit here and read in companionable silence. That's also really nice. We're going to put some tall windows. Oh, some of these are a bit scratched, but ah. I need some new glass bits. These ones haven't been looked after so much, but we're gonna put tall windows up here just to mix it up because I didn't really want everything to be the same height. I just like having these tall ones in the middle and then we're gonna put some more outward facing studs facing different directions actually you can probably guess if you've seen the other two parts of this build what is going to go on these outward facing studs we're going to put another level i'm actually going to just put these little plate plate lego bits here these flat ones here to hold all of this together and then on this level we're going to put another one of the same size windows as we had down the bottom so it's like a pattern with big in the middle and small on the top and the bottom and it looks really nice really very classy looking more little outward facing studs few here i think that and and one here and one facing that way so have you guessed what's going on them yet i bet you have i bet you really have let's put some more of these little plates on to make sure all of these windows are held nice and securely together I don't want them falling apart because then there'd be glass everywhere. They'd be breaking. They'd be terrible. It's going to sit over here. Do you remember that empty bit under the side of the stairs? Well, that's where this little sunroom is going to sit. <laughs> and with this on top, I think we still need to build up a bit more on top of the sunroom. In fact, I know we have to build more up on top of the sunroom, but it's going to look so nice. Ah, I love this idea. I love it. We're going to put glass bricks. We're going to put maybe two layers of glass bricks, I think, will be just the right height. And then this sunroom is just going to be like a focal point of the whole apartment. It really is going to modernize it, but still make it look cozy. And speaking of focal points, I want a massive chandelier hanging from the top. And 
I stole this chandelier directly from the Lego Friends Heart Lake uh, Hotel. This is from the hotel. But it's easy enough to build yourself if you've got the right pieces. <laughs> but, but yeah, I just stole these directly from the hotel. It's going to look fabulous in here because it's already yellow. So it absolutely suits the color scheme that we have already decided on for Belle's apartment. So we need lots and lots of these little yellow dangly side glassy things. Well, not lots and lots. We actually need, I didn't count them, enough to go in each little segment on our roundy thing. Was that really specific? I'm pretty sure that's really specific. I hope you're counting. I think it's eight. Could be wrong though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Are you counting with me? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. So eight it was. And they actually come off a bit too easily. But that's all right. It's just going to be hanging up here decoratively. We're not going to touch it again. And we're going to hook it on with this, with our little hingy hooky thing. And let's take it up and just check and see... Okay, so it's going to be too close at the moment, so we need to actually stick it out into the middle a bit. So let's use this little upward facing studded slanty curvedy bit. This is its technical name. And we're going to use the, that tile piece to make it stick out. But at the moment it's really fragile there, so we need to actually we need to actually put that in place. And I just want it to be flat on the top. So we're just going to put another layer of these of these 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 down. <laughs> Losing my ability to speak, but then we're going to put a smooth layer on the top and that actually is trapping that chandelier in place Can you see how that all worked without me having to actually explain it because I had no words words gone gone I've used them all up for today <laughs> I haven't I've got so many left, <laughs> but none of them are gonna make sense right these outward facing studs You know what's going on here roses lots and lots of climbing roses and you may have noticed I didn't actually put any glass in this window. That's because I want to use this little bouquet piece to put lots and lots of red pieces on, or red flowers on. And then we can actually have it creeping in, in through the window. Isn't that just so cozy? Doesn't that look so gorgeous? We've got this big empty space at the top here, so maybe Maybe I can use like a half glass thing in here for the smaller windows. Does that look weird? I don't know about that, but I'm going to leave it. I don't know whether it looks weird or not, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so we're going to now make a nice big long climbing rose down this outside, the front side, that's going to be the front side of the sunroom. And we're going to put, we're going to put a whole heap of red flowers on it. We're pretending they're roses. They're red, they're roses. Nice. And then we can angle it, kind of angle it. It's, it's a bit sticky outy. I could probably have done with another outward facing stud to attach that, but I could add that later. Let's put one up here. And I'm actually going to put this on backwards, I think, so that I can have, I can have those little red flowers actually facing in towards the glass, if that makes sense, kind of. I think that looks all right. I think that looks good. And over here, we're going to make we're going to make another, we've got another little space, another little glassless window. So another little bouquet going in through it. I love it. It's so, so cozy. It's just a little bit wild too, like a bit neglected because she just spends all her time reading, but the roses just take over and they, they just do what they want to do, but they look fabulous. Now this one here is going to be down near her reading nook and it has got some of the real little rose flower pieces on it and they're going to face inwards into the glass. Let me just see if I can angle all this so that it sits really nicely. How does that look? That looks pretty good. We'll just, <laughs> just readjust it a bit. There we go. Now there's just so much greenery and it's so cozy. And with the like morning sun streaming in through there, it's going to look so beautiful. Let's put it right next to the stairs. There we go. Oh, it looks so, so cozy. And those, that climbing rose going up the stairs has escaped from the sunroom. Okay, I'm really, really thrilled with how spectacular the sunroom is. Let's move back inside and let's create some support here. So to separate the kitchen from the lounge room, we're going to make a big glass wall. And this glass wall is actually going to support the second level. So the front of the second level. And it's going to provide a backing for the bookcase library thing which we're about to build. But let's get this this glass wall up to the correct height. 
looks pretty good. It's a really nice separating wall. Okay, so bookcase, library. Let's, we've already built a couple of bookcases already in Belle's apartment, because hello, it's Belle's apartment. Let's see if we can do things a little bit differently. we just mix it up a bit. I didn't want all the bookcases to look exactly the same. We've already done this technique before. It's a nice, easy way to add what appears to be a whole heap of books all lined up beautifully on one shelf and they are just they're just perfectly on that shelf look at that that shelf just <laughs> so perfect those books are so nicely lined up let's put some real books on the next shelf so we'll put some smooth tiles here and yeah they're gonna fit in there perfectly okay so if i Let's see how many I can fit in here. There's some anatomy of a frog. Let's see if I can hold them in with, very important to Belle's story, we're going to get that really important rose, put it in a jar, and it's going to be forever contained in this little jar. There's no stud in here, but <laughs> if I don't drop it, it will actually stay in here really securely. You'll see, you'll see, because we'll put it here on the stud, and it's gonna hold those books in so snugly. Look at that. Oh, God, that's so good. And when we put the next shelf on, check this out. Hello, the flower can't come out at all. So it is so securely put in there. Let's put the next shelf on. That worked out better than I could have imagined. Right, so next shelf, I'm going to try just piling some books up. So them lying on their side just so we can mix it up a bit and that's not going to fit at all. So let's, oh, well, now they're not as untidy as I wanted them to look. We can maybe angle these ones, make them look a little bit untidy. And next to them, we're going to have this special book on display. I don't like the way these little panel pieces that take, that kind of cover up half of the book, but, oh, that's right. We can't do anything about that. We have to work with what we've got. So the actual wall there will stop the book from falling out the back. Ah, that's so cool. And now... Now, I think, I think if we can connect this to the wall, that's too big. <laughs> Let's find another one. We'll put little smooth tops on here and then this should be the right height to put the second level on. Let's try it out. And then the front of the bedroom will be beautifully supported. That's awesome. Let's click it down where we've got our little jumper studs there. And because this is such a tall bookcase, Oh, I don't like how that's all flapping there on top of the stairs. I might need to put some more. Oh, I just might need to put it down properly. There we go. <laughs> now it sits beautifully. Oh, that's so good. And we can actually take the second story off when we want to play. Now, there's not still, there's still kind of not very well supported under here. But oh, oh, I wanted to show you I've got a ladder. I've got a ladder to go all the way to the top. It's like this big, tall library bookcase thing. Isn't that the cutest? But I'm not ready to put that in yet. Let's actually support the underneath of the top level a bit more because it is still a bit flappy and it's going to fall apart. So if we put these nice big long flat pieces underneath, then we're going to have to check that they're not actually going to run into any of the walls from the bottom level. But if we put these on, they're going to really help support the second level, make it really nice and strong because the bookcase helps support it, but it's not gonna help because I had to use lots of separate little plates there. I think that's gonna, yeah, actually, yep, yep. Yeah, look at that, doesn't run into any of the walls at all. Oh, now I've just knocked the sunroom over. <laughs> but that, that fits nicely. <laughs> we'll put the sunroom back. So sorry, Belle, you were reading your book. I know, I'm such an interrupter, but I'm trying to build your apartment. And now that's not actually sitting as flat as it was on top of the bookcase. So to fix that, let's take some of these, well, let's just reduce the size of some of these flat tiles, these smooth tiles, and let's put a little stud on, and then it's gonna be able to attach to the top level and make it sit nice and flash and smooth and nice. And just that little bit more securely. There we go. Now I'm happy, but I can see actually that's a really big space down here. Mm, you know what we could do with here? We might need a bit of embellishment. I'm going to try using this gold swirly embellishment to create, oh, just to make it just a little bit less stark and square. So this is going to round off that little entryway, that little walkway, I think. It's not going to make it look too princessy, I don't think. I think it's just going to be like, like an embellishment, a corner embellishment. I'm trying to install it without breaking everything that I've already built. <laughs> Good news is I can put it back together again. So if we put this in the corner here, how does that look? 
Actually, that looks really nice. It doesn't matter that it's not symmetrical on the other side. Actually, wow, that's a really tall first level, but it looks cool. I'm really happy with that. Okay, let's make a lounge room now. But actually, before we do that, we're going to need to connect these plates together, these floor plates. And to do that, I'm going to make a hallway runner, like a big carpet. And I discovered, this is really cool, I discovered that washi tape, or some washi tape, is actually the perfect size for these two by four tiles. <laughs> this one is, and this means I can, I've got so much tape that I can actually match up the patterns on them on multiple tapes. So if I just go like that and try and put the main pattern in the middle, then I can cut off the edge with just some sharp scissors, or I like to use a scalpel blade, but you can just use sharp scissors. But if you're going to use a scalpel blade, be very, very careful. They're really, really sharp and put them on a protective cutting surface before you cut, but they, you can just slide it along the side of the actual tile and you get a nice clean cut and put your protective cap on again. Protection is very important. And look at that. So we've got one little floor tile piece here and this is gonna help hold all of these together. We're gonna put that one at the base of the stairs. And now we need a whole heap of these to make a floor runner. And I can line up the patterns because I had so much tape. Isn't that pretty? So she's got like this pink brocade carpet <laughs> leading up to her stairs and it's serving a double purpose as well as decorative. It's also holding everything together. Look, that's so nice. It's like a beautiful entryway into the house. Okay, now she can have some lounge chairs and the lounge chairs are going to be a very similar design to the upstairs chair. Uh, not exactly the same, but similar. But we're going to use some little studs to actually hold them into the floor or onto the floor. And they're going to be that pink color that we had on the chair upstairs. But because this looks really kind of stuck, we're going to put some nice rounded armchair arms on them. <laughs> armchair arms, <laughs> armchair arms, yeah. Uh, but they're not actually going to be connected to the chair itself. So we're going to install them all separately. So there's one armchair arm. And here's the second armchair arm, armchair arm armchair armchair arm and we've got one armchair now with two armchair arms and now we need oh my goodness I'm losing the plot now we need another armchair with two armchair arms and I'm not going to talk while we do this because I've said armchair arms too many times so psh, 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 that's enough no I can't help myself I'll keep talking okay but we'll we'll put together the chair and it's going to match the <laughs> it's going to match the other one. Oh my goodness all right so there we go, there's the third armchair arm and a fourth armchair arm. Nicies, nice. We got two chairs now to put in the lounge room. But before we put them in, I'm going to put another little carpet down cause we need some more tiles to hold together this, um, the, the base plate here too. So we're going to be a bit, a bit creative here. And in this center space there, we're actually going to create a coffee table and well, well, let's do that. Let, let's put the armchairs and the armchair arms in first, and then we'll put a nice coffee table in between them. And, oh, and we'll put our ladder in first. There we go. I love that library. Okay, the coffee table is actually a very similar design to the one I made with the sausage lamp video. This one's got a nice smooth surface on the top, but we have got some little studs facing downwards and we're gonna use them to actually attach it. But those studs aren't going to attach into the floor studs. So we need to add these, these little accessory holders, we need to poke these in so that it will actually connect down to the base plate. And I've used four, but honestly, you could just use two on the diagonal, it'll be fine. Right, look, now we've got a little coffee table, two armchairs, and it all looks so good, just needs a teacup needs Mrs. Potts and we'll, we'll put Belle in here. She can check it out for comfort how those armchair arms are they're comfortable. She's not so sure. She thinks I've gone a little bit mad in it, but there's one spot here that needs just something else. There's an empty spot. So let's add, let's add some decoration. Let's put just a tiny weeny cut off pillar bit and we're going to put a vase with some more flowers in it, including this gold ring, because I just wanted to make a little bit more gold in here, but a bouquet of flowers. And we're going to actually mix and match the colors. We're going to use some red and we're going to use some pink, which are actually upside down to not only mix and match the colors, but to mix and match the textures as well. 
<laughs> and this one's refusing to go on. There we go. Now it's on. There, a lovely bouquet for over here. And now it is decorative. And now, ah, oh, <laughs> she's just smelling the flowers. She's taking time to stop and smell the roses <laughs> because her apartment is finished. Oh my goodness, I'm really thrilled with how it has all turned out. It just looks beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to be able to start another one all from scratch because I've just loved doing this one. But I need you to tell me which princess you think needs the next modern apartment and I need to start planning it. Oh, and look in the kitchen with the little breadstick with the baguette which I which I put on the little shelf there. We can actually tuck it behind now that we've got a wall. Or you can sit it up on that little shelf. It'll be it looks fine. I think it looks fine. I don't think it looks too weird. Now all Belle has to do is choose which book she wants to read first and then, oh actually no I'm wrong, she has to not just choose which book she wants to read first but where she wants to settle in to read it. Is she going to sit on her new lounge chairs or is she going to snuggle into the corner of her sunroom? Is she going to hang out in the bath? Is she going to sit up next to the fire in her bedroom? The choices are endless. Well actually no there's four choices but she's got a lot of choices. Was that four choices? One, two, three, four, yep, yep. Oh <laughs> okay, all right. Probably a good idea for me to leave it right here now because I have gone a little bit insane so <laughs> make sure you click the notification bell make sure you subscribe do give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment let me know what you thought of everything and I'll be back with another video very soon you know me I'm always back here on the channel building new stuff and playing with new things so always new things to see so I'll see you with them really soon <laughs> bye